Hi everyone, PR10 Slides is here and today I am going to teach you on how you could play around with the 3D elements or icons here on PowerPoint. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future uploads and also PowerPoint giveaways and please do also comment your suggestions and feedbacks here on the comment section below. This is PR10 Slides and let us now begin. Alright, we are starting off with our blank presentation page here in PowerPoint. The first thing that you need to do is to change the background color of your presentation page. Alright, so just go to the gradient field and let's make it like color yellow. Oh, Alright, there you go. This looks nice. Second thing that you need to do is just to insert a text at the middle of it. Let's say emoji. Alright, just increase the size of the text. Choose your um, desired font style here and also change the um, color of your text all right so i think this looks good and just position it on at the center of the slide there you go and the next thing that you need to do is just to duplicate this text and go to shape format and in here remove the text fill and it and um change the color of the text outline of it so let's say orange duplicate it first all right so and position it again on, at the center there you go just like that and all right so now let's try to insert some of 3d elements available here in powerpoint all right so these are the 3d elements that i have got from the um, stock 3d models here in powerpoint and just send this emoji at the back of it and also this at the back of it all right then position it at the bottom of this slide so what we want to do here is to just rotate each of these emojis and also make it smaller just like that and another one just like that position it here and position it right over here make it smaller all right oops there you go this is what we want on our first slide all right so just duplicate this slide Control D and um, the text here at the center just increase um, the size of it. Let's say like this, or maybe a little bit bigger than that. There you go. All right, then position these emojis at the center and make sure. All right, again at the center and make sure that the first emoji make it bigger and paste it right there in front of us there you go now let's try to add more 3d models here uh, in this presentation all right so these are the emojis that i have got in the powerpoint um the next thing that you need to do is just to position them outside of this um presentation slide and uh, position it differently all right so let's start working on that All right, um, I think we are done with the second slide. The next thing that you need to do is just to duplicate the second slide again. 
and in here you want to position the text with no text fill at the top of it and the other one at the bottom of it just like that and in here increase the size of our first emoji and in here um, face the other emojis at the back of it to the front and increase their sizes and also this one face it in the front there you go and increase the size of it now let's reposition them here at the bottom of the slide Alright, there you go. I'm done with this three emoji. The next thing that I need to do is to reposition these emojis um, here inside our presentation slide. So let's start working on this. It's kind of messed up, but you will see later on the animation of it, and I think it's pretty, pretty awesome later on. Alright, so the next thing that you need to do is just to add the morph transition effect here in the second slide and also on the third slide. Just go to transitions and hit morph, and also here in the second slide here, hit morph. Alright, so now let's check what we've got here so far. There you go. So far, so good. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think it's pretty awesome. Now, it's kind of different from the first um, animation that I have made on the, on the introduction part, but um, that's the essence of this tutorial because I would like you to learn how you could play around with the 3D uh, models here in PowerPoint. So, here are the... Um, other animations that I have made here in PowerPoint and this is the and this is the PowerPoint that I have presented earlier on my introduction part there you go which is pretty much similar to what we have created earlier and also here's another design that I have made all right so there are 3D elements here in the PowerPoint in which they have their own animation but there are also 3D elements that they don't have that kind of um, motion um, unlike this dinosaur. So for example, you would like to change the um, uh, motion of this dinosaur, just hit click on it and go to 3D model and as you can see there's a um, scenes. I mean, there, there are scenes right over here, or you could choose none so that your di <laughs> <laughs> this dinosaur looks funny, okay? So your dinosaur won't move a single inch on your presentation. And there's also the scene number one, in which your dinosaur would run just like that, it's like chasing you. There's also the scene number two on a fighting scene there you go also the scene number three which i have used there you go and also the scene number four there you go and also the last one the scene number five there you go you could also change the um direction or the point of view of your 3d models like this on the side, on the top, at the back, on the left side, at the bottom of it, on the front side, and actually you could just make a rotation um, directly here on your presentation. See? 
there you go there are also 3d elements available here in stock 3d models and they all have different scenes and it's actually pretty amazing for me because this is such a beyond level i mean a really great level up for your presentation and all of those elements you could use them to ace your powerpoint presentation and other for your other report um, purposes all right so i hope you could really explore more on that especially on the 3d models in powerpoint and you could find it here just go to insert and hit 3d models and go to stock 3d models okay and i am pretty sure that you will definitely enjoy the animation and the scenes and also the motions of those 3d elements all right this is the end of our video tutorial thank you so much for joining me today for our tutorial for this um, powerpoint tutorial and please please do not forget to subscribe and if you've learned something valuable here on this tutorial please hit the like button and also go comment your suggestions on the comment section below your thoughts or your opinions all of the comments there will be pretty much and beyond appreciated and thank you so much to everyone who also commented on my previous uh, videos and also, please don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future tutorials, hacks, and also premium PowerPoint giveaways. This is PRT and Slides, and may you all have a wonderful day ahead. God bless. Do not forget to pray, okay? This is PRT and Slides, and see you again next time. Bye!